In this episode, we find a sandbar, run aground, and I end up naked in the water on our way to Astoria, Oregon. What do you got there? Walking the dock, talking to a fisherman, and he said uh, he had a fish he didn't want. So he got a little treat. And and you know I can't catch a salmon, so. He really can't. What's your saying that you use? <laughs> can't catch it with dynamite and a net. No, the other one. Why do fish jump? Oh, fish jump because they don't have a middle finger. <laughs> fish jump a lot around him. <laughs> so, we're going to clean this up and cut some steaks or fillets. We're going to eat well tonight. Yum! <laughs> I nice love bright. salmon. Salmon's actually my absolute favorite. Happy Fourth of July! Happy 4th of July! We uh, just left the marina. We're going to head up to St. Helens, get some gas, uh, pump the tank. Oh, my hat looks crooked. There we go. <laughs> pump the tank and then uh, see my daughter real quick. She's camped with her friends on the island outside St. Helens. And I think what, we're going to pump up to Kalama yeah. and check the dock there. Uh, they have a fireworks show there. If there's room in the dock, then we'll stay there that night and watch the fireworks. If not, we'll come back... Uh, the St. Helens, but uh, it's a friend there. Yeah, so we got friends coming on the boat, so we got to decide which place we're going to. The issue is this year there's no fireworks in St. Helens, and St. Helens usually puts on a pretty amazing show. They have live music. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, These vendors that come. It's really cool. Yeah. So if you're familiar with our episode on Halloween, it's the same location. So check out our Halloween episode. What do we call the episode? Do you remember? Cannons, something around that. We'll link it up here, right up here. That's a pretty good job for such a small little town. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We really like St. Helens. It's a, it's a neat place, neat town. So, yeah, it is growing. Property value is growing up, which is good and bad, right? Um, so anyway, we're gonna head, we're gonna head there and uh, get up to speed after we get out of the the slow zone and uh, get cruising, and burn some dinosaurs. So we're hitting some uh, some waves, just even going through the town area here in the No Wake. That's why we're a little shaky, but uh, should be an interesting ride. To we're gonna try to get into Kalama. I don't know if there's any availability in Kalama, so we may just have to go straight to uh, Astoria. Right, right. And it's supposed to be really, really, really hot. So um, yeah, pushing we're on pushing a hundred, yeah, yeah, pushing a hundred. So all right, let's do it. Hey, so we're going under the uh, the bridge that spans between Oregon and Washington, uh, basically from Rainier, Oregon to Longview, Washington. It's actually the first bridge or the bridge we went over I trailered the boat over in our first episode which you can see right here uh, up here <laughs> somewhere uh, was built uh, 1930 mm -hmm. we found out uh, dedicated by President Herbert Hoover don't know why I can't <laughs> say his name <laughs> somehow that makes me happy <laughs> and uh, uh, designed and built by the same guy that did the Golden Gate Bridge and then uh, it was at the time the longest bridge in the United States as well as the tallest bridge right. in the United States. It's also been called the Lewis and Clark Bridge. The Lu yeah, yeah, I think in the 80s or something it was renamed the Lewis and Clark. And then you found out in doing our research or your research on this, something about a Nutty Narrows Bridge. Yeah, so check out my uh, blog, uh, mydinklefritz.com. It's all about ADHD and everybody associates ADHD with squirrels. And so, of course, um, I found that um, information about the Nutty Narrow Bridge. So um, this guy literally made the bridge for squirrels to cross. Um, he loves squirrels like we love squirrels. Not everybody loves squirrels, um, but we love squirrels. Ted feeds them. <laughs> he feeds them nuts. I have to tell him to stop feeding them the good nuts. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and they used to have a big uh, squirrel-like statue that apparently got taken down. But I don't know exactly where it is. I don't think it spans water. So... If you know where this bridge is at, I would love more information, maybe some pictures. That'd be yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Shoot us a link in the 
in the uh, in the description or tell us where it's at and, and whatnot. So yeah, we'd love that. Maybe go check it out or something. Yes, and I'm going to be doing a blog on Squirrel specifically. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> as long as you don't get distracted draw, writing it. Yeah, I probably will get distracted <laughs> writing it, but um, that's okay. That's why I have a couple of them going at the same time. You know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Hit the button. MyDigglefritz.com. Oh, jeez. <laughs>
Just east of Astoria on Rice Island, we came across American white pelicans. Oh, we're uh, finally made it to Astoria. We did. Right we're, before all the waves, too. It's really it's crazy out there. Nasty. It was almost not like glass, but it was super smooth. It was smooth. Uh, we timed that just right with the tide and the wind, but now looking out there, it, uh, not so much. So uh, we're uh, here at the trolley tracks. What stop are we at? We're at the Bay Street stop. We got this cool trolley that runs the uh, good length of the, the waterfront here in Astoria. Right. Last time we it was closed, so we right, couldn't do it. So right, right. we're gonna go get some ice, and we're gonna have a little trolley ride. Um, yeah, yeah, should be fun. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be cool. Here it comes. But anyway, this bridge uh, spans the uh, shipping channel, which is a uh, Corps of Engineers side town, but uh, actually uh, it's a peninsula. There's water on the other side of that hill, you know, as a matter of fact. There are two small rivers that flow in there. Anyway, if you do drive up there, the, I think the parking is six, five bucks. Now we've been in Astoria for a couple of hours now, and just got a chance to finally pull the uh, engine compartment open and take a look to see the water level. So looking for any change in the water level and anything rushing in. So I don't see any real change in the water level. I don't see anything rushing in. We're, we're moving and rocking and so that will make the water swish. Um, there's some water in here that I'm going to try to pump out. I don't have a shop vac here so I can't suction it all out. So in the uh, we'll, bilge pump only pulls it so far. There'll always be some water in here. Unless I come down here with a shop vac, so. We're good. Um, I knock on wood. I think we're good, and uh, we'll uh, continue on and have a good time this weekend. When we get back uh, to our marina where I have a shop vac, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, suction up the rest of this water and get it dry in here, because you don't want water sitting in the bilge. Creates mold, makes it hard to see if you have any leaks or any problems. So uh, we'll do that when we get back. We've uh, ate dinner, showered, and uh, now we're a little tired. And we're gonna head out and get a little drink. And come back to the boat for the evening. So there's, we saw a little place when we were riding on the trolley uh, up here that was just- That looked, I wanna check out. Yeah, it, it looked pretty cool. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. I hope they're still open. Everything closes early. Yeah, I think they're pretty new. We couldn't find them on Google or anything. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. This is the Pacific. Is this a distillery? Yeah, I remember the guy on the train talking about it. I don't remember what it was before. They just converted it to like a... a yeah, totally distillery. closed. Yeah. That's cool. With the distillery closed, we moved on to another restaurant where we retreated to a nice sunset and got to watch a river pilot board a container ship. Container ships heading up river don't stop, so the pilot boat brings the pilot out to the ship where they board it while it's in motion. The pilots are licensed by the state of Oregon for over 320 nautical miles of the Columbia and Willamette rivers. They are required to know and are tested on every mile of the two rivers. They have to know where each sandbar is the channels and all other pertinent information needed to safely guide these large ships to and from their ports. It's an elite group of mariners and it's a big treat to see them in action. In this instance, he climbs a rope ladder onto the gangway, then proceeds to the bridge, 
where he gives the helmsman instructions on when and where to make his turns. She likes to sleep on the rocking boat. We uh, got in late last night, got to bed, and uh, we're now heading up to get some of your uh, coffee. And we're gonna walk over to England's Marine and get a few parts for the boat that we need and uh, start the day. Your family's coming in. We should get moving. Yeah, yeah. They're, um, they love they love Astoria. We used to actually come to Astoria through Astoria all the time when we'd go up to our, our beach cabin in Ocean Park. So. My dad's pretty fond of it, and he was sick on Father's Day, so we're going to hang out um, today when he gets here. Yep. Should be fun. Yeah. Oh, there's a clue. Uh-oh. So it's hard to find, like, dry, like, waterproof stuff um, for my hikes that I do. And this is, uh, there's a lot here. Wait, what did oh. you come in here for? A light bulb. <laughs> 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 All right, as uh, most things go, went to the store, spent a bunch of money. <laughs> and I've made some future purchases in my head. Yeah. So I'll be back. Yeah, she'll be back. Probably every time we come to Astoria. <laughs> That's a cool store. It is cool. So I got a uh, floating line for our trip up north that we haven't disclosed yet uh, that we're gonna we're gonna do this fall. So I needed some floating line just to be able to do uh, to tie to land stern ties. So uh, real cheap. It was real good, real good, real good. So we're kind of excited about that. Um, we're going from Astoria to Waco. Astoria is back several miles from the ocean. The Waco will actually be the closest we'll have ever been to the ocean in the boat. So it's it's literally just around the horn of Cape Disappointment. And uh, yeah, it should be awesome. I'm gonna call you Cape Disappointment from now on. Oh, <laughs> rude, rude. Just kidding. Oh, that, that hurts. <laughs> All right, enough of that harassment. <laughs> Forgot to say goodbye. Oh, sorry. I'm doing that thing called driving the boat and navigating. Goodbye. Hey guys, this is Ted. I'm uh, doing a little editing on uh, this Astoria episode and uh, I have to apologize. You might notice some uh, inconsistencies, maybe a little weirdness with the uh, with the timeline. Uh, basically, we lost a bunch of uh, video files. So we went over to Waco, those video files are gone. So I can't find them in any way whatsoever as, as well as some other video files.
It's uh, Sunday morning. We're getting set to head back to Portland. Um, Jen's hit the shower. I need to fix the uh, bow, the, the navigation light on the bow. Um, Notice that it was uh, it was out. I pulled it apart and uh, it had disintegrated into almost nothing. Uh, the glass had shattered. So went over to England's Marine and bought uh, actually an LED upgrade. So hopefully it fits, and uh, we're gonna see if it uh, see if it works. After fixing the light, we left the marina behind and headed upstream towards home. Just east of the marina, we passed the remnants of a brewery that had collapsed into the water due to a decaying dock. We also visited the East Mooring Basin, which clearly has seen better days. So, yeah, it used to go all the way across over to there. The whole thing collapsed. On our way home, we decided to stop in at Cat Lamin at one of our favorite restaurants. Hey, we just docked in Cat uh, Lamin, right? We did. It's freaking hot. Super hot. Um, restaurant's closed, so uh, to beat the heat, we're gonna take the boat back out in the water, out in the deep. Drop the hook and uh, drop the people. We're yeah. jumping in the river. Yeah, it opens in about 30 minutes, so well, it's too hot to walk around. Yeah, we're just gonna go plop in the water and swim around and have a little good time and uh, cool off. Whew, that feels good. And people want to see you jump in. Oh. It's supposed to be. It's too cool. It cools you off. It's too cool. Guys, what do you think? We want to see her jump in or crawl in. What's just, that? Just, jump in. They all said jump in. They all said jump in. They all. Everybody wants to see her jump in, right? Yep. I can hear them. I'm too old for peer pressure. I, I can hear them. They're all saying jump in. You should stop. They're all saying the voices Jen, in your head. Jen, 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 Jen. They're all doing it, all at the same time. I don't, I don't succumb to peer pressure. I am used to hearing my name called, though. <laughs> she, oh my <laughs> god. What am I gonna do, guys? Should I just push her in? Yeah, I'd probably pay for that. Jump in. It feels really good. Yeah, I'm wearing my shirt, so because blonde and, and will sunburn in a matter of seconds. And now it's all wet, so now I can wear it and stay cool for longer. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's a legit question. Yes, I could wear it before it was dry, but now I can wear it wet and stay cool. Jump in my eyes. Jump in the wet, the wibble? Jump in the wibble? <laughs> I didn't know we were in the wibble. <laughs> Are, are you Mrs. Elmer Fudd? <laughs> the wascally wabba jumped in the wheel. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Probably because you're overheated. I think it's like I was thinking of two words at the same time. I'm not sure if the W works. <laughs> water. There you go. Yeah, yeah, water and river. Water comes out the wibble. <laughs> They're saying jump in. They're waiting. They're waiting to see you jump in. Well, I'm gonna go jump in again, and then I'll wait for you to jump in, because we need a thumbnail. Guys, we need a thumbnail for this video, right? And what better than to have her flying through the air, jumping in. 
Whoops, you're right there. <laughs> I forgot to follow you. <sighs> what to do, guys? All right. She promised. She promised. So if she doesn't do it, you guys got to give her a little, just a little bit of guff in the comments. What was that? What are you? <laughs> what are you? Tapus are art. You're an independent women demon. Did I get that right? Because I want to make sure I get you know everything right here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna jump in, surface, and film the independent women demon in. Jump in. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, shit. Come on. Two hours later. It, she's getting that freaking water right 8%. Oh, shit. All right, we're done swimming. Yes. Now we're in the salt and tomato getting some beer before we head back out on the water. Should do most of the drinking. I don't do the drinking and driving much. That's smart. Yeah, that's smart. I might have a sip, but that's it. I'm pretty conscious, self-conscious about that. Or not self-conscious, pretty conscientious. Yes. He's a that. great designated driver. Yes, yes. But you women didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't drinking then. No, in the wibble. <laughs> All right, it's drinking time. Yeah, it's cool in here. I think we recorded last time we were here. Cool. After lunch, we continued upriver to Portland. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Anchor Swing. Join us next time when we drop Almond Joy into the salt water to begin our journey to Desolation Sound and beyond. Oh.